Hey guys, Shilako here. Just a quick parts update for my Axial SCX1024. I've not done anything else to it actually since the last video. Um, however, I did get a couple of parts in. So, set this off to the side. Um, as you know, I got the, that's behind me somewhere, the Fury Tech, um, what you call it, uh, brushless motor an ESC setup. Um, I haven't weighed anything, but I'm pretty sure that's going to add some additional weight, and I wanted uh, a good way to deal with that. So I went ahead and ordered some new shocks, and you can see the part number there, and these are actually oil shocks. I don't know if there's oil in them. Um, from what I've heard, there is not oil in them when they ship, so I will have to check that out and see but let's take a quick look at this and looks like that yeah, looks like I'm gonna need some scissors Let me grab that just kinda cut into that there take a look just grab one of them out cute little thing isn't it I can already tell these are fairly stiff. I'm not exactly sure which color is the stiff spring, but you've got the, the uh, silver ones, some black ones, and the gold colored. Um, I'll have to play with that and kind of see. They're kind of tangled together just a bit. Something tells me these are not the stiff ones. In fact, oh yeah, I'm... I'm reasonably certain the black ones are not stiff let's check out Got a little sticker here HR these are hot racing brand the gold ones might be the stiffest ones possibly let's get one of them off there we go okay so let's feel here. Got that. That. You know, I'm not really sure. Um, let me see if I can tell any difference in the size. I really can't tell just by eye. But yeah, these things are really, really cool looking. And uh, like I said, they are oil filled. Uh, from what I hear, they take like two or three drops of oil it's not very much at all this is just a, a decorative get my fingers out of the way this is a decorative chamber here that's basically fake but uh, they're they are aluminum and like I said oil filled rebuildable so yeah I, I'm really excited about these if I'm being honest I'm not sure exactly when I'll be able to get them put on but I do have them and at the uh, around the same time I think it was the same evening I ordered a servo mount that after seeing it I have a feeling is not going to be the right size but you know what I'm gonna open it anyway and let's take a look I ordered this because I thought that it was the right one to fit the bigger servo that I bought it's also from hot racing and it's a really nicely nicely made piece here it's aluminum you see here I've got my servo in this box here something tells me that it's not going to fit I, I just have a feeling I could be wrong oh it does fit Okay, now I'm still going to have to do something here. This is going to be kind of wonky. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do there. I'll figure that out though. This is good. This is good. So this was hot racing. Um, I want to say this was somewhere around 15 bucks. And I, I, I read the descriptions and, and what it was supposed to fit. And I went in and took a chance on it. This will work. I can make this work. 
Um, I, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to need to do, but I, I, I can make that work without too much difficulty. I think the shocks were like $30, I think. I had a little bit of trouble finding the oil-filled ones. Um, maybe the ones that said they were for grease were the same ones. I, I don't really know. Um, but uh, I had only found, I think, one or two listings on eBay for these. And uh, I think their website was actually out of stock, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I'm I'm really happy with uh, the first first look quality of them. They seem like they're going to be really good, and I can tell that they're definitely stiffer than the factory ones because that's really bouncy. And these these I think are going to dampen quite a bit. Plus they are adjustable. I don't know if you can see that right there. I'm trying to look through the lens right there. You can turn that and adjust the tension on the spring. So that's going to be really nice. I'll work on getting those installed at some point. Don't know if I'll make a video of it or if I'll just work on that off camera. Just kind of a relaxing kind of thing maybe. I don't know. This, like I said, will probably require a little more uh, finagling to get it. Uh, to get it to fit properly and uh, but yeah this uh, this 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 is good so uh, just a quick update video um, don't want to lose my screws there oh, and here I guess a whole bunch there uh, quick update video if you guys liked it go ahead and hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already there's gonna be more coming up in the future I'm not exactly sure what my schedule looks like right now as far as being able to to get stuff done um, going through a bit of a job change at the moment, uh, or at least I will be in the very near future. So that's, I've been in this position working where I'm at for like seven years. And, um, anyways, it's not exactly going to be the easiest thing in the world to, to move on, but what they say is change is good, right? So, um, We'll see what comes along, and I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. Or wait, this is this is Monday. Well, in the future, have a good weekend. Hit the like button. See you guys in the next one. Bye.